Hi, boys and girls. Mrs. Baird here. Well, by now you know that I love rabbits. Cute, furry, friendly, sweet little rabbits. I've had a whole day called Rabbit Day with nothing but rabbit songs and movement and activities. Even told you about one of my favorite authors, Beatrix Potter, who wrote the tales of Peter Rabbit and Benjamin Bunny. But today, my friends, here's a story about a rabbit with a bad habit. He was not such a sweet little bunny. This is a very pretend story called Little Rabbit Foo-Foo. Some of you may know the story by Little Bunny Foo-Foo. They're both the same. Now, if you were going to look for this book in the library, you would definitely be looking on the shelf that said fiction. Fiction books are the ones that are make-believe. They are not true. Just by looking at the cover of Little Rabbit Foo-Foo, I'm sure right away you boys and girls can tell this story has got to be fake. First of all, rabbits can't ride motorcycles. Rabbits don't wear clothes. Rabbits can't carry a hammer. So we know that this is fiction. We also know that the creatures of the forest that Little Rabbit Foo-Foo picks on are also fictional characters. This is just for fun, but it's a great music story because you can help me act it out. There's going to be parts of the story that I'm going to ask for you to participate with. As I turn the page, the first scene will show the creatures of the forest. We have the little field mice. We have the wriggly worms. We have all kinds. We've got tigers. We've got all kinds of characters in our story. So the story of Little Rabbit Foo Foo is a story for music acting. Here is your part of the story. Boys and girls, every time I say the part of the story that goes like this, Little rabbit foo-foo riding through the forest. I want you at school or at home to keep the steady beat. You can use your hands on your knees. You can do it any way you like. If you have a drum, this would be a perfect thing for you to do on your drum. But you're always going to stop when I say the word down. And you're going to find out that when the good fairy comes out, Little Rabbit Foo-Foo stops in his tracks, okay? Before I read the book, there is another part. Whenever I say he's scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head, that's when I want you to play one loud beat. Every time we say the word bopping, you can clap your hand and I want you to freeze. When I get to the part of the story that says, down came the good fairy, I'm going to play a beautiful sound like this. Down came the good fairy. This is called a bell tree. Listen to that sound. Down came the good fairy. You're gonna hear that sound, and I want you to make your hands go down every time you hear that, okay? Anytime the good fairy comes out, she's going to tell little rabbit Foo-Foo that she doesn't like his attitude, and she's going to start by giving him three chances. You show the number three. Then he'll get two chances, and then he'll only get one. And she's going to tell him that if he doesn't change his ways, that she's going to turn him into a goonie, which is an imaginary creature. You can just make a silly, silly face. So anytime she says he, she's going to turn him into a goonie, you can make a silly face, okay? All right. I'm going to go back to the beginning of our story. I want you to get ready to keep the beat. And remember on the word bop to freeze, all right? Little rabbit foo-foo riding through the forest, scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and said, 
Little rabbit foo foo, I don't like your attitude. Scooping up the field mice and bopping them on the head. I'm going to give you three chances to change. And if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goonie. Little rabbit foo-foo, riding through the forest, scooping up the wriggly worms and bopping them on the head. Down came the good fairy. And she said, Little rabbit foo-foo, I don't like your attitude. Scooping up the wriggly worms and bopping them on the head. You've got two chances to change. And if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goonie. Little rabbit foo-foo. Riding through the forest, scooping up the tigers and popping them on the head. Down came the good fairy and said, Little rabbit foo-foo, I don't like your attitude. Scooping up the tigers and popping them on the head. You've got one chance left to change. And if you don't, I'm going to turn you into a goonie. Little rabbit foo-foo, riding through the forest, scooping up the goblins and popping them on the head. Down came the good fairy. And she said, Little rabbit foo-foo, I don't like your attitude. Scooping up the goblins and popping them on the head. You've got no chances left, so I'm going to turn you into a goonie. Boys and girls, when I turn the page, I want you to get ready to clap your hands. One, two, three, pow! And the moral of the story, hair today, goon tomorrow. I hope you've enjoyed Little Rabbit Foo Foo, the end.